Okay, we're going to talk about 6.5 today, classifying lines and angles. Okay, so the first question I have is parallelogram for you. And um, label the parallel sides. Okay, so you can see here AB is parallel to DC. So those sides are parallel to each other. So you would write that like this. AB is parallel to DC. So that's the symbol for parallel. Okay. And then you have another set. You can see here that AD is also parallel to, to BC. Okay. So this is the symbol for parallel. So then what's the symbol for perpendicular? It's that. Okay, so I might have something like meeting at a 90 degree angle. I might have EF and QR. Okay, so if I were to do perpendicular, I would say that EF is perpendicular to QR, like that. Okay, perpendicular meeting at 90 degrees. Okay, versus parallel, you're never going to meet each other because you're running at the same angle to each other. Okay? All right, next, name these definitions or um, talk about them from the picture below. Okay, so we have a transversal line. So a transversal line is a line that cuts through two or more other lines. easier to see. A line that cuts through two or more. So here if I look on the picture um, I would have XY is going through two lines. Okay so that's a transversal line. Um, a corresponding angles. So corresponding angles would be in the same location. So same side of two lines. And so that's like left, right. And then both on either the top or bottom as well. So same, same location. Okay. I'm not sure what looks better there. Okay, so same side, same either both on top or bottom. So an example of corresponding could be three and eight. They're both on the left of the transversal and they're both on the top of the two lines. Okay. Um, I think I want to rewrite this, sorry. Same side of the transversal. Okay, so another example would be 1 and 5. They're both on the right of the transversal and they're both on the top of the line. 2 and 6 and 4 and 7. So corresponding you would have 3, 8, 4 is with 7, 1 is with 5, and two is with six. Okay, opposite angles are angles across from each other in an X pattern. So when there's intersections, so these two are opposite and those two are opposite. So if you look at your drawing, name me opposite angles, you would have two and three are opposite of each other. You would have one and four. Um, you could have eight and six. 
or 5 and 7. Okay, those are all your pairs. Alternating interior angles. Okay, so alternating means they're on different sides of transversal. And interior, from the two lines, they're on the inside. Okay, so when we talk about alternating interiors, we could go four and five, because they're on opposite sides of the transversal, but they're sandwiched in between. And another pair is two and eight. Okay, then what would you think about alternating exterior? So alternating exterior angles, you can see that alternating is the same thing, different sides of the transversal. And exteriors would be on the outside of two lines. Okay, so if you think about the sandwich, they're on the outside. So a pair would be three and six of alternating exteriors, and then you could have one and seven. Okay, now what do we know if these two lines are parallel in the, in the transversal cuts? Okay. So now, I'm just going to redraw this. So I have 154 degrees right there. Okay, so I would know that this angle right here and this one would add up to 180. They're supplementary. So that would put me at 26 degrees. Okay, does that make sense? Then I also know that these would add up to 180, so this would be 154. Because these two add up to 180. Then look at what actually happened. My opposites were the same. So that means this would be 26. Okay? Now, because these lines are parallel and this cuts the same, like if this was a saw cutting through two, it would cut the same angle right there and there. So this is also 26. These are supplementary, so this is 154. This is 26, and this is 154. So you can see opposites are the same, okay? Alternating exteriors are the same. Alternating interiors are the same. Correspondings are the same. You can see that Interiors on the same side of the transversal, if they're both on the interior, they're supplementary to each other. Okay, you can see all those patterns for me.